Dan Penny. I'm the Chief of Cardiology at Texas Children's Hospital. And I've been working at Texas Children, Children's for almost eight years now. I've had a very meandering route to Texas Children's Hospital, but thankfully I got there in the end. Um, I originally I grew up in Ireland, I trained in Ireland, trained in the United Kingdom, trained in Australia, and I practiced pediatric cardiology in the UK and then in Australia. And then ultimately I came to Texas Children's Hospital. I was really proud to have been given the opportunity to come to Texas Children's Hospital because to tell the truth, in my mind for many, many, many years, having visited many children's hospitals around the world, for me this was really, or is really, the definitive children's hospital. We are very proud and honored that we have inherited this legacy at Texas Children's Hospital Heart Center. And we see that we have a real duty to try to build on that legacy. Uh, and take things into the future. We have a very simple aim here, and that is that we must do everything we possibly can to reduce the effects of these horrible diseases of the heart on children and on their families. We're very conscious here in the heart center that congenital heart disease or acquired heart disease for that matter in children isn't just a disease of the heart. These are conditions that affect whole families, whole communities, and so that that's the unit of currency, as it were, that we use in, in, in our care pathways. In other words, we aim to treat and care for the whole family, not just the child and not just their heart. I think this is a very exciting time for somebody to join Texas Children's Hospital. We've had a period of immense growth. And we've also diversified the way in which we care for families, for children. and. I believe that we are really leading pediatric medicine in many, many areas. I think that our new legacy tower is revolutionary in the way in which we will be able to manage children and their families. And I think it's a very exciting period of growth and innovation here. This is the place to be in terms of young people who really want to do new things, lead themselves and hopefully tell us about the unknowns that we as, as yet haven't explored. Really all of our leadership is really based upon the maxims that Mr. Wallace has handed down to us. Uh, if you think about his leadership maxims, they're based around attracting the best talent, about empowering people to lead, providing a safe environment for people to lead, and also make them feel responsible for leadership. They're leaders at all levels of our organization. And so this is the approach that I would hope that I have been able to incorporate into my leadership style. Um, I've been very privileged and lucky to get the best people possible in our section. And my job now I see is that once we get people in like that, that I just create the environment in which they can lead and feel responsible to lead. The legacy that I would like to leave behind at Texas Children's is firstly, I would like to leave behind an, incre an increased appreciation throughout our community that heart disease is common in children, because oftentimes many people don't realize that in the community. I would like people to get the message that, this, that these conditions really have a terrible impact and ca carry with them a terrible toil on children and on their families. And then in particular, I would then like people to be able to look back at everything we've done, the buildings that we've built, the programs that we've developed, the processes that we've introduced, and they will be able to look at all of those and say, yeah, I can see now how this was designed to reduce the impact of these conditions on children and on their wider families.